It may not last long, so let's head right over to First Alert Meteorologist Hannah Gard with a look at our forecast. Hey Hannah, how's it looking tonight? Well, we had an absolutely beautiful day and we're still feeling those warmer temperatures. We're around in the 70s right now, but you can see we have those clouds starting to move into the area. We'll see those gathering overnight, so certainly cloudier when we wake up tomorrow. But it's still going to be pretty warm if you head out the door early tomorrow to head to work. You might not even need a jacket. We'll be in the 60s, warming up quickly into the 80s around lunchtime, and we'll be sticking around in the 80s through the afternoon. You can see, though, it will be pretty windy as we head into the afternoon hours, so that's going to be the most bother bothersome thing tomorrow. But because of these windy conditions and warm temperatures, we will have near-critical fire weather, mostly for our far western counties. They'll also have very low relative humidity values, so any fires that start could spread fairly rapidly, so if you do see any smoke or fire tomorrow, make sure that you do report that. What we're looking at for this week, tomorrow absolutely beautiful, we will be in the 80s, but as we head into Tuesday, during the day Tuesday, it'll still be warm, but you'll want to grab a jacket when you head to work, because when you leave, we might have those thunderstorms, and those will stick around into Wednesday and Thursday, we'll be down into the 70s, then by Friday, we'll finally start to dry out, you might just need a t-shirt, Coming up, I'll have more on the storms that we're looking at for Tuesday. April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and one local organization.